say that. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Chef Nomi Musa, and welcome to Nomi and Friends. Every Thursday, I'm cooking live with my friend, uh, friends from all over Europe, from UK, Netherlands, and also from uh, France. Okay, so today I'm very lucky to have my friend uh, in France, uh, Mont Blanc. Okay, so beautiful place. Uh, Nick Kwong joining us today that cooking uh, something really simple. So in 60 minutes, we're going to excite you with uh, two recipes. And then, of course, I mean, you can uh, always like uh, cook uh, all these dishes. And if you're going to do that, uh, don't forget to tag us on the social media. Okay, so that's what you need to do. Tag us and then you can get a like from us. Okay, right. So um, in case that you want to know more about this uh, show, right, so you can always just uh, go follow us on the show, social media. So, so you'll get reminded notifications from us. Um, so uh, every Thursday, I'll be cooking with uh, different friends from different locations and all that. Okay, so uh, and then this month I will have uh, Graham um, from uh, Newcastle up north in England, and then of course I have my mentor Brian Mello as well cooking. Okay, so uh, Nick. Okay, so we're gonna invite Nick on YouTube and Facebook as well. Okay, how are you doing? So now we both. Yeah. So now you have to look at both cameras. <laughs> so that's the life of like cooking on TV. So. Um, so how are you doing? It's like, how's the weather in Mont Blanc then? It's sunny, but it's going to change because in the mountains, it's always good in Malaysia. Yeah. You get a sunny morning, it's 25 degrees, and suddenly it becomes a thunderstorming. But, you know, it's just the June weather. Um, it's meant to settle a little bit more next month, which is a few days, just like Yeah. Good. So um, perhaps you want to tell uh, the viewers a bit about yourself? So uh, but before we talk about what you're going to be cooking shortly, right? So uh, do tell us where you're watching from. So we would like to hear uh, if you're watching from uh, Seoul, Maldives, or I'm, I'm waiting for Elaine, Elaine from Netherlands, because uh, she's a big fan of your. Of you. <laughs> you know? So you need to get in touch with Elaine because uh, I think uh, she loves uh, watching you cooking, Nick. So you have like uh, followers now, fans now, yeah? Yeah, I think maybe maybe try to wipe your camera a bit. So I don't know because maybe the line. Okay. Ah, uh, I think I know what's happening because I think you because you're sharing the camera for Instagram and also for uh, YouTube. So maybe uh, if you log off, that's it. If you log off the camera from. Uh, the one that you're sharing on Instagram. Okay, let me let me off yeah. the camera. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm new to this. I'm not as experienced. It's okay, as, let's uh, let's start out these uh, technical issues first, and then after that we can start cooking. Um. Yep. Yeah, I think. So it's been. Oh uh, no! I think uh, I know what's happening because uh, you're sharing the same camera for both Facebook and YouTube on your laptop. So. Yeah, so the one, okay, so you need to pick which one is for the Instagram. Okay, that's for the Instagram. Okay, hello, Nora. I just, uh, before, while you're sorting that out, I'm going to say hello to everyone, okay? Hello, Laura, uh, Laura, and then Nora, and then we got Melissa, so on Instagram, and then we have uh, Afandi watching from Maldives. Hello. Oh, Matt. <laughs> Matt watching from Sydney. How are you doing, Matt? Hopefully to get to visit you in Sydney one day. Okay, so you drop us. <laughs> Knock the head on the, on the wood top. <laughs> okay. No, actually, um, Nate, don't worry. I mean, that it's, it's actually, um, it's okay, actually. Yeah? So... Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's good. That's good. Okay, great. Uh, while we're sorting out, just to quick reminder, we're gonna launch something really exciting on the first of July. Okay, so I'm um, 
discussing the, about the concept and everything with my team. And so now that I'm back in London, so I'm putting together all the chef uh, friends uh, that joining is Norman and friends. So we're putting together uh, some great contents that we're going to launch on the 1st of July. So this is something that I'm really looking forward to tell you. So stay tuned on this because, uh, yeah, so it's going to be really exciting because you're going to get something really exciting from us. Okay. So 1st of July. And also the second announcement is, uh, this weekend, I'll be uh, I'll be in Cheltenham at the Food Works, uh, running my uh, master classes for Malaysian uh, uh, amazing the, sorry the Malaysian Kitchen. Okay, so uh, so there's one spot left uh, on Sunday. So if you want to sign up, okay, because you can learn how to make roti canai. So uh, oh sorry, I think I've lost a uh, now. I'm gonna try to get him back in, back in, and then after that, I'm gonna get him to start cooking. Okay, so uh, because we've got 16 minutes. Let me just uh, bring him back in. Hotel. Okay, there we go. Let's try to get him back. I'm here. Okay, good. Okay, great. So, if you put, yeah, that's it. That's good. That's great. Okay. Just Maybe, it's a... Maybe just a like. If you if you adjust your um, adjust your Instagram camera just to point at the at the uh, laptop and also cooker, okay? Because uh, because it got cut off halfway. So let's uh, have a close up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Yeah. So once you settle, and then we can start cooking, okay? So we have Marvin watching from Breda. Hello, Marvin. It's, uh, is that better? No. Yes, that's good. That's very good. Let's ask Melissa. Melissa, are you happy now with that? <laughs> okay, good. Right, so, um, right, Nick, if you want to tell the viewers what you're going to be cooking, and then uh, you can go ahead. Okay. Basically, uh, merge between, uh, it's a fondue with curry. A fondue with curry? Wow, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so I, I find this quite interesting to do because mm. it's, got the, it's, not, it's, it's not exactly curry. Yeah. You get the sweet cheese, uh, it's very local, it's a local cheese. Okay, so when you're ready, you can. Uh, I'm just gonna put my AirPods now. Gonna check with the uh, with the viewers on the Facebook and YouTube. I think uh, the sound uh, probably gone off. Okay, anyone who's watching from Facebook and YouTube, do tell me if you can't hear Nick. Okay, so Nick, carry on with cooking. I'm just gonna see whether the viewers on Facebook and YouTube can hear you. Okay, go on, sorry. Uh, I can hear you well on the Instagram, but not on the Facebook and YouTube. Yeah, Hello. That's better. is it better now? That's yes, that's good. That's good. That's better. Good. Also, too, we can cook. Oh, <laughs> all right. Now. So you, you should never have uh, amateurs like me when it comes to broadcasting. So you're a pro. <laughs> that's, that's okay. Awesome. So, so that's all in the curry and everything. So probably you can teach me what do you normally dilute the curry powders with? I like to use coconut milk. What about you? Uh, yeah, coconut milk is good because especially for <laughs> Nick, we've lost you on the Instagram. We've lost you on Instagram. 
<laughs> I'm gonna have to invite you again. Sorry. Uh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Hotel. Oh, hang on. No, I just gone okay. black. Is there any way I can? Uh... Let me see. Okay. Uh, I'm inviting you back on, on the Instagram now. Okay. You should get my request. One second. Get my request? Yeah. Let me invite you again. It looks like I'm still there. Hmm, I didn't see you anymore. Hang on, let me just invite you again uh, to join me. Okay, here we go. Okay, you should get my invite now. Yeah, okay, good. You're back on. What happens if we get cancelled again? <laughs> okay, we're not gonna touch anything, any camera now, so we're gonna get on with cooking now, okay? So let's okay. do that. So I'm just, I'm not doing much, I'm just marinating a chicken. And uh, the same thing I'm gonna use. How much time do you have? No, no, it's okay. Don't worry about time. Don't worry about time. So it's marinated. It's marinated. I'll just normally I'll leave it for about three, four hours just to get the flavor in. So you've got a curry and a flavor. So I've got it here straight away. That's a prepared one. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. That's good. So it's done. So, so the chicken is done. And I'm also going to put some, uh, obviously, the broccoli to bring it over. Some broccoli. Some okay. Korean mushrooms, mm -hmm. some capsicums, bell peppers, some inoki. So that's all going to go, and it's going to be quite quick. It's a very, very easy dish, and it's going to be over before you before you before you even start. To be honest, it's quite easy. To go. Yeah, I mean, I mean, don't worry about time anyway, so because uh, we you got plenty of time, and this one is very quick as well. And then this is the this is my favorite part, the cheese. So this, so I've got the three types of fondue cheese. So you've got the bomo, we've got the abondance, and the bofo. It's all very local. And for viewers at home, the easiest substitute probably is mozzarella. Uh, you know, mozzarella strings, you probably get the same effect. It's quite tasty as well. But, you know, here I like to make things as difficult as possible for myself. And because the ingredients are good here, so it makes no sense to use, uh, you know, the store hot stuff. But the chicken is good and uh, the cheese are all from the farm. So I'm just getting get great. One of these. And I've got an uh, Asian clay pot. So it's quite interesting because uh, when I served this to a French uh, person, and he was like, oh, this is so interesting. And I just told him, yeah, that the clay pot keeps the flavor in quite nicely. And you know, it's a very Asian sort of. Uh, did, you, did you bring that back from Malaysia? I have one now, so I need to buy them now. Probably, if you know anybody, I can source a few. Yeah. I think so you've seen the cheese in the in, uh, in Netherlands and also in uh, I'm sure there's a Ch in a Chinese supermarket in in uh, Paris. I mean, should have. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. should have. Yeah. Yeah. I was in Paris just a few weeks ago. Uh, but yeah. 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 told me earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next time you can visit and then have a look. I'm sure I've, because I bought uh, quite a few for my restaurant in Manchester before. So, yeah. 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 Whoa. Let me let me create this, and then after that, uh, pretty much the preparation is done. So it's a very simple dish. So what happens is, uh, I'm just great because there are three types of cheese in the local fondue here, locally uh, to the Savoy, Haute Savoy. So it's a, a very local sort of uh, way of doing fondue. They have the Swiss have the Swiss way, you know, the French have the French way, and obviously you know, it's a bit of competition there. But I think this works, and uh, obviously. You get the best cheese where you, where you're local, right? I mean, there's no point going all the way across the border to find something that essentially do the job. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I could have done this earlier, you know. Yeah. So you're so, back in London now, yeah. Yes, I'm based in London now. Uh, so I came two weeks ago, and then I was in isolation for almost ten days. It was killing me because 
<laughs> and uh, I, think, uh, I did test your release. Uh, so after five days, you're allowed to do that uh, if you're not um, if you're healthy and all that. So and I got anxiety attack the first time I walked up of the house. Yeah. Yeah, the kitchen where you isolate. Uh, for anyone who's watching from Instagram, so um, Nick is live from um, his hotel Instagram. So do follow him on the hotel Instagram if you find out, want to find out more about his hotel in Mont Blanc. Okay. So and then we have uh, quite a lot of viewers on Facebook and YouTube. So we have Fatima watching from Nijmegen. Uh, that's in Netherlands. I'm still waiting for Elaine. So Elaine, uh, she has it. Um, Elaine, if you're watching, do say hello. So your favorite chef is here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So I mean, I'm gonna keep some parts of it pretty chunky because I want the stringy yeah. effect as well. Can, can you see my uh, grating? So it's almost, you know, just. Okay, I think uh, we have a mountain of cheese. Network. Should I? Right? I feel greedy. I need to put some more in there. I think your Instagram the network. Nick, the Facebook and YouTube is okay. It's uh, your Instagram. My Instagram is gone. Like up the, uh, on your iPhone, I think. That thing's got issues with that. Let me see what happens. <laughs> yeah, we've lost you again. So I'm going to invite you back in. Looks like uh, there's a Wi Fi issue there. Okay, I'm going to invite you in. Okay. Yeah, we're back in. Okay. Hi. <laughs> so that's the cheese. You didn't miss much. I was just grating cheese. Yeah. So the cheese is ready. Everything is pretty much ready. I just have to start the pot now. Okay. Uh, before I do that, I don't need all this cheese. I think I've got enough. Last bit of chopping, and the chopping board goes away. Yep. And then it's done. I don't have to do any more chopping and that I can keep a clean kitchen because I I'm sure you, you like to keep a clean kitchen when you work as well, yeah. I mean that's yeah, sure. I think it's all obsession, it's an obsession. But um when you can ask that, uh, have you started opening your restaurant yet? So the restaurant uh, we've been doing takeaways since January. Yeah and, uh, and obviously we can't open uh, you know the whole winter which was quite difficult because we are a ski resort, so we basically lost one season. Yeah. My first season. Yeah. Uh, and now we are allowed to open the terrace. Mm -hmm. So we can serve people outdoors. Yeah. But there's still so much work to be done, and uh, we are aiming to open properly uh, in two weeks. Okay. Uh, okay. We are allowed to open now. So. Yeah. But I have to thank you for um, you know having time to join to join me cooking today anyway. I think yeah. what do you have that? So that's the curry, uh, marinated chicken. Uh, do you know what actually works? Uh, I really like the taste of the you know the katsu curry, the Japanese yes. curry. It's yes. a bit sweeter. It's not as it's not so it doesn't have the kick, but it's sort of blends in nicely with the cheese. So I'm just gonna cook this now. Mm. And, uh, the way the French do their fondue, I'll show you later anyway. So, <laughs> fry the chicken, the oil. I'll bring I'll bring the Instagram camera along. Okay. Um, yeah. But you can see me from there, can you? Let me move this a bit. Uh maybe put your uh, laptop uh, volume on silence. Okay. So uh so you can hear me better on the Instagram. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, better. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Well, I'm almost done. So in the in the in the cheese, mm -hmm. here's where I get a bit creative. I add a bit of a yuzu line, just to get a bit, of, you know, a bit of pepper. I use the sour pepper. I think that's a quite a nice one for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I put a bit of a. Uh, Leftover white wine, because that's what they do to dilute the cheese. Yeah. Let's put that, just pack it in. It's not, nothing's going to happen to it. It's all ready to be cooked. As you can see, I'll bring you over one second. I'll just drop this in. Okay. 
Um, if anyone has got any, well, if you have any questions to ask, uh, so do type up your questions. Yeah. So. Let's let us know. Okay. Nice. I can't hear you now, Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the noise. It's a bit loud. Okay, for anyone yeah. watching on Facebook and YouTube, uh, Nick's just uh, frying this uh, chicken now, so I'm sure he's going to bring it uh, to the camera afterwards just to show you. Okay. I'm not used to holding the camera and cooking. <laughs> you have to be multitasking that. Well, if you're cooking, I'm going to show you that as well. There you go. So, so for that's, Facebook and YouTube, that's cooking. Also. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't worry because uh, once I've, uh, I've downloaded these videos, I'm gonna edit, you know, everything that. Um, yeah, so so I'm we don't have to show it. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna leave the fire low and uh, talk more about it. Well, that cooks. I mean, we don't have to be there. We don't have to look at it all day. So, so the cheese. So that's ready. Yeah. I'm gonna put all the vegetables in. At the very end. I like the cheeky and a bit of a tiny alcohol. Mm -hmm. So after um, Nick finished uh, cooking his uh, chicken dish, with fondue, uh, so I'm going to show everyone how to cook this a uh, very quick uh, prawn stir fry, because I posted this uh, prawn dish uh, I think a few weeks ago. I think it was last month. Yeah, last month uh, I cooked this uh, for my friend in Rotterdam, and then <laughs> everyone was uh, well messaged me asking like the, for the recipe and everything. So this is yeah, this is the time that I'm going to show you how to cook uh, this recipe. Okay, so you have the chicken ready. Yeah. I want to show the Instagram people first. Yeah. Because it's closer to me. So okay. it cooks a bit, a few more minutes, so I'm going to leave it on the stove. Yeah. And so the chicken is not fully cooked, right? So it's no, just it's not fun. fully cooked now. Um, okay. I like to cook it like 90%. Yeah. Let's leave it on the stove for now. And uh, I'll just keep the cheese at the very So what I do is I put yeah. the chicken on top, mm -hmm. along with all the vegetables, all the broccoli, mm -hmm. the pepper, the gnocchi, and then I bring this to boil. And then the curry, and I put all the curry sauce in. Yeah. And it's going to just, you know, just sort of make the whole That's simmer. Yeah. And how long do you need to cook that for then? The cheese will cook in one minute, to be honest. Once it's melted, okay. it's done. Okay. It starts okay. stirring it. But I'll show you the whole, I'll show you everything when it comes together. Yeah. I should have prepared one with the chicken already cooked. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> and who's going to eat all this, uh, <laughs> these two portions that you cook then? Your family? Pardon? Who's gonna uh, eat all this uh, chicken then after this? Uh, okay. I can. I normally finish it for lunch. It's lunch time here. Or yeah. I bring home for my son. Okay. He can eat it because it's, uh, he likes cheese and uh, you know he likes a bit of spicy. But yeah. A bit of Malaysian, Malaysian uh, influence at home, so it's good. <laughs> That's yeah. good. So it's, it's very nice, kind of have all the flavor that going in into it, like uh, especially the curry kind of flavor. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. I will try and. Uh, we done in a minute. Okay, no problem. So I've, I've actually, I'm not that dumb. I cook it in quite a small pieces. Because yeah. normally I quite like to have a whole thigh on it. Yeah. But I've uh, cut it for smaller pieces, you know, for the, for the, for the child. And, uh, you know, yeah. it cooks so it's, more like a, it's more like a bite size, isn't it? So you want to yeah, put this yeah. in. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to... Put that on top, build the whole fondue, or fondue up. Wow. So the heat from the chicken is going to melt uh, the, the, the cheese already? Not quite yet, but we'll yeah. get there. So at the same time, in goes the mushroom. Just like to quickly fry it just a little bit. Yeah. The problem is fine. I can, see, I can see the smoke on the Instagram video. I can see the smoke like... <laughs> I bet it smells really good. Yeah, just, just heat up the, the mushroom like. Cool. I'll put the broccoli in just to build yeah. the whole dish up first. Okay. Actually, you can see it. Well, you see the end product. <laughs> okay. 
So that's pretty much how it looks later. And okay. So I don't want to cook. I don't want to overcook the mushroom. But this mushroom is a quite you know, as long as it's cooked. Yeah. Uh, I prefer to like it a bit of a uh, tanginess to it. Yeah. Uh, these are really nice. Mm -hmm. I don't want to build it nicely for you. It's all for the presentation. We're going to take a photo and then uh, post it on the Instagram or on the Facebook meet while we talk well. Okay? Sure. Okay, so that's how it looks right now. Yeah. That's almost pretty much done. Now just pour the curry sauce I have on top. Mm -hmm. Just straight in. Not too much. Just to cover it. Mm -hmm. A bit of seasoning. You can use any ordinary pot, really. So that goes in, cover it, start the timer, 225. So how long do you need to cook that pot? Two minutes. Only two minutes, okay. Or even less when it melts. Okay, so... When it bubbles, sorry, you don't want to see my face, you want to see my face. So that will start to bubble, you see. Okay. So would you let um, the cheese kind of melt completely? Yes. It's like melt. Melt. Okay. We're meant to mix it as you go along, but uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, guys. So okay. that's on the stove that way. Wow. It's beautifully presented in a clay pot as well. Yeah. So, you know. And I'm sure this is enough for uh, two people, the four yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's yeah. Right, right. yeah. But would you would you eat it just as it is, or would you eat it with something else? I eat rice, but uh, right. you know everyone's different. So the French, they are they just eat on his own or bread. Yeah. So I just realized on that camera, I just look silly I'm holding a camera, uh, <laughs> filming my own food. <laughs> Uh, we need to discuss the logistics next time. <laughs> no, it's fine. Next time we'll send you a cameraman, like a crew, to go and uh, you know, film it, uh, filming you. Well, you know like, what? Uh, next, next time, yeah. Yeah. Next time, I'll take you cook outside. Because I've got a couple of recipes that's very simple, just pre-cut everything, very fresh. Yeah. You can do it outside, yeah. you know, at the rolling hills or on the pickle pie. <laughs> That's what Melissa just said that um, she said that we should visit Nick Hotel Restaurant in Mont Blanc. Okay. <laughs> Please come. We'll support yeah. It'd be very, very nice to see any of you actually. Okay, so, so, so you finished with your dish now? I'm finished, so I'm just waiting there for to boil and I'll show you okay. the very last. Let's, let's do it let's just boil. Okay, and then I'm going to finish completely and then I'm going to start. But, so, but what I'm going to do now, so I'm going to okay, um, okay. log off from so, the. From the one second, I'll bring it and then we're gonna rejoin. Okay. Uh, so set up again. Uh, set up another one because I'm gonna post it once, this one straight away. Okay. Right. Okay. So um, we're gonna say goodbye now for the Instagram uh, viewers, but uh, I'm gonna go live again in just a couple of minutes. Okay, because I'm gonna post this video. Uh, so that's the last one. Before you go. I'll okay. There we go. So, uh, so let's see that on Instagram. Final one. Right. So that opens. Whoa! And oh wow! Look at that! It's, it's nice. It's it's exactly. yeah. And this is quite nice. important. I really yeah. like the pickle ginger. The Japanese pickle ginger gives yeah. it a bit of a. Uh, you know, it's it's nice. It's quite heavy dish. But if you, uh, you know, so that's. Oh, wow! I'm gonna mix it. Yeah. Just okay. you should be able to see some of the stringiness. <laughs> okay, unfortunately, the Facebook and uh, uh, YouTube oh, is not able to do that. But uh, I'm going to post this video on the Instagram. You can go to the Instagram, and Melissa says that it looks yummy already. Okay, thank you. You should come and try it. Okay. Right, I'll leave you to it. I'll show uh, yep. our friends here. So, for the viewers on the uh, Instagram, I'm going to say goodbye now. I'm going to post this. I'm going to go live again in just a few seconds, okay? So, bye for now. Hello, can you hear me here?
Okay. Sorry, Nick. Let me just uh, post this. <laughs> that was hard work. <laughs> you can relax now. <laughs> it's my turn now to cook. Hang on. Let me just uh, post this, and then I'm ready to cook uh, my dish, my prawn dish. Yeah. Uh, Life with Nick. Okay. No one can see me. No, yeah. Okay, enjoy, enjoy. Okay, I'm gonna post this now, and then we're gonna go live again. So I'm gonna invite you back. So this time, uh, they can see your pretty face on the Instagram. Okay, so you can see me cooking uh, this time. Okay? Instagram. Uh, so, so the other, the other, so on your phone, I'm gonna invite you on the Instagram again. Okay, so because. Uh, okay, let me do that, and then after that, okay, uh, live. Hello, good afternoon. So welcome back to Norman and Friends. So this is the second part. Uh, this is what I'm going to be cooking and then Nick will be uh, joining me shortly. Uh, so he's going to be um, taking all the questions and then, yeah, so read out for me if there's any. Right, I'm going to invite Nick now because we're still live on Facebook and YouTube because I don't want to get the viewers to wait for long. So Nick, I'm going to invite you now. Okay, you can join me on Instagram. Okay. okay. I'm going to be cooking this. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, because of course you have to clean it first. Okay. Um, but I'm going to leave this on. Okay. How are you doing? Can you see me? Yes. We can see you now. So you can be like, no. Okay. 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 So go 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 let the recipe is in uh, in sixty minutes. Right. right. So, uh, so uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, 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 gonna stop my camera. My camera. Uh, so uh, sorry. Let me just, just uh, flip my camera. camera. Let me just. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm just well, gonna, gonna do it like this, so you can see. It. Okay, let me see this, so you can see the view. Uh, I'm looking for and also. Can you see the view of the board? Almost and also... Because I'm trying to get the best view. Okay, first, I'm going to prepare all the ingredients. So let's, so let's, let's, let's put me on the screen. screen. Uh, okay. okay. Right. right. So... so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to prepare the prawns first. I'll have your prawns, the shell prawns. Okay, you can tell whether it's a fresh water prawns or is it um, the uh, sea prawns. Okay, so uh, you can see by the skin. Okay, so this one is like a very very kind of light skin. You see that? Yeah, I'm going to say it looks like a quite thick. Because normally it's like water. You can smell a like a river or like a yeah from the pond. And also the skin is quite um thicker, thicker. Yeah. So it's a little closer. You see that? See that? Okay. Okay. So what? So what? So what? I've done. I've prepared the most of them, but the last three. So this is what I've done. When I said you've been, so back of the prawn. So basically, just to remove like a a dirt. Okay. So, cut like that, and also a tree. So a tree the legs, right? right. And, then and then here, here at the top here is like a sharp kind of a like a bone, right? and also there's a tail, which I'm going to show you the one that's not done yet. So like so, that. Like that. So, so this part, this I remove. Okay. okay. And then cut and then the back, cut of, the back it. of it. And also, and also this part as well. I remove. Okay. So the sharp. Bit. You know, on the Instagram. So it's here. So this bit, uh, remote, remote. I'm going to remove, and then the tail, like this. So I'm going to trim the legs, and also cut the back to the bend it. So that's what I'm going to do. So cut the back of it. If you have a teaser, you can see it is kind of a trim the legs. See, when I say like the dirt, you can see that. You get that. Close up on here. Gosh, this is exciting when you have two cameras. 
There you go. Okay? There you go. That's okay. how you want to clean it. That's how you want to clean it. I'm going to trim the legs. I'm going to trim the legs. Cut the top. Cut the top. Okay. The hip. Okay. Because the hip. Because the clay was going to be, um, you know, it's going to be better when you leave the shells on. It's kind of a protect the inside, the front. So it wouldn't be like a easily overcooked. So that's why I always love to to leave the shells on. Okay. So trim the legs. So I'll leave the, this bit here because that's for presentation. I think this is the last one. Okay. But unless you oh, okay, okay, you're okay, you're still there. You can quiet, Nick. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, you, you color code the chopping board, obviously. Hang on, I'm telling you. Did you say something? You color yeah. code your chopping board, obviously. Chopping board? Yeah, the color, you color code it. Yeah, the color code, <laughs> the blue one, the green one. So uh, in this kitchen, of course, uh, we, we have um, this uh, chopping board. This is a uh, more like a domestic one. Normally it's like in the restaurant, like in your restaurant, it's like a massive one. Okay, so this is ready now. Let me just clear this. Right. Okay, so the prawns is about half a kilo. And then uh, here, we have a spinach. Okay, so this is about 200 gram. This is what I like about going to the uh, fresh market here. So like uh, this uh, spinach is only uh, 75 pence. So that's really cheap. Because I always like to, when I cook something, I always like to balance up with vegetables. So with this uh, vegetable, I'm just going to cut in half, right? Put back on the plate. And be careful because uh, if you buy this kind of spinach, it's best is to soak in the cold water for about like, uh, 10 minutes or so, just to remove the sand. Uh, so the grit, yeah, so sometimes like uh, it's very sandy, yeah, so you need to wash it properly Otherwise, it's your dish is going to be like a uh, full of soil You don't want that. So here I have the garlic A lot of garlic because it works well with the prawn. Let me just wipe this first Okay, so first I'm going to mash the garlic To just chop this, just roughly chop the garlic. Okay, so I'm gonna divide into half, uh, split that into two portions. One is for the uh, vegetable, which I'm gonna cook first, and then another half for the for the prawn. Okay, so and then here I have the uh, spring onion, which I've uh, already julien and soak in the cold water for presentation, just to show you. Okay, and not to waste the bottom bit. Just this, which I'm gonna slice and I'm gonna put in a mix together with the garlic. Okay, so this is like a thinly slice, it's fine. I like a knife. Can you send me one? My birthday is coming up. Yes, <laughs> this. I miss that sort of knife. Yeah, <laughs> who is this? Who gave me this knife? Yeah, where did you, you get this? Do you know the famous uh, Martin Yen? Yeah, 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 Yen can cook. Yeah. He gave me this knife. This is his, his knife, Martin Yen's knife. Yeah. Excellent. I'm very uh, jealous. <laughs> I was um I did a cooking demo in Malaysia with him for this uh, uh rice. Uh, I can't remember. It's called Jasmine. Uh, yeah, the brand. And then he gave me this for free. So that's and then he kept telling me like to visit him in San Francisco. So we can go there. He's a legend. I used to wake up like yeah. seven thirty in the morning. It's on his rerun on TV three or TV two. Yeah. Um, legend. I mean, I've been very lucky actually because, like, here in London, um, so uh, well, I've been in touch with um, Ken Home, who obviously wrote the foreword for my cookbook, Amazing Malaysia. So, yeah. uh, and then of course I met uh, Martin Yan as well. So it was like two legends, right? So I have the garlic and also a bit of a spring onion here, and then I have the onion, which I'm just gonna thinly slice this. Thank you. 
this cooking can be really quick. And for the flavor, for kind of a dressing, for this, I'm gonna make it slightly spicy, so I have a chili, right? I'm just gonna thin this spicy. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use half of it only for the vegetable. Right, so we're ready to cook now. Let me try to bring the camera for the for this one. So you can see it better. So I'm gonna put on the full heat. I'm gonna cook the vegetable first. Let's see what I got. So just to give you the good view of the of the wok, just put this on here. Okay. So I have the lid ready as well. And then uh, because uh, when cooking the vegetables, I want it to kind of like cook very quickly. So this is just a vegetable oil. So just need about a tablespoon. So this is just a large frying pan. A skillet will be good as well because it's nice and thick. So that would give like a nice heat or you can just use the wok. Okay, so just nice and thin wok. Okay, nice and smoky. I've been reunited like with my plates from Danby. So this, so they gave me like a lots of plates and bowls. So uh, I think I probably have almost like a more than 50 or so. So uh, I went back to Birmingham just to take some of the plates and bowls. So you're going to see lots of plates actually on my social media after this, okay? Okay, this is a good tip that if you want to get your dish kind of spicy, first thing first, instead of like putting the garlic and uh, onion, so you need to infuse the oil with chili, okay? So that's going to make it make your dish really spicy. Not spi really spicy, but spicy, good spicy, nice heat. Okay, after 10 okay. seconds, you can put the garlic, half of it, and all the onion. I'm gonna leave uh, some, uh, some of the chilies for the garnishing later. Now I can smell the heat already. Probably coughing already. I'm sneezing and coughing. <laughs> okay. I'm getting hay fever as well, though. It's not helping. Oh, you need to? I get hay fever too. It's a yeah. struggle now. But yours is like up on the mountains. Like, how can you get hay fever? Is it? Uh, there's lots of uh, pollen here. A lot of. Uh... Really? So it's very green here, you see. It's very, very green. I'm allergic to grass pollen, so. You know, when they start to uh, mow the lawns, I just struggle. See, that's the thing. We Malaysians, we're not supposed to have that. Exactly. Because... I don't know. It's a very particular type of pollen, apparently. So. Right. So I'm ready now for uh, so this vegetable oil spinach. It's already been washed, right? And that's why you don't need to put any more water because the water from the spinach pot uh, is going to be enough to create a sauce. And to season it, I have here soy sauce. So let's put about like a three tablespoon. And then I'm gonna just cover it up to trap the steam. So cook it for like uh, two minutes or so. And then it should be, yeah, should kind of uh, get this finished to wilt. Okay, let's see how many courses. <coughs> God, it's gonna be spicy. Yeah. <laughs> So when can you come and visit me and help me uh, bring some of your chili, bring your fancy knife? Uh, <laughs> well, when uh, we all allowed can travel again. So I think Melissa has already put her in a wish list. I mean, to go and visit you. Yeah, have a storm here. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I do travel a lot for work and uh, that's something that I really miss because um, I promote Malaysian cuisine and all that in European cities. So yeah. that's a shame because in the last like 15 months, I mean, there's no travel whatsoever to do that.
So if I so I'm gonna open now, like after like uh, 30, 30 seconds or so, and you can see it start rotating it already. Yeah. So just make sure that this stops. So just give a good kind of mix. Whoa. So I'm just gonna cook another 30 seconds because uh, the stocks are gonna, gonna be still quite, um, it's not gonna be cooked yet. Watch it a bit. Okay, so they should be ready now. Right. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna transfer you see on Instagram by Okay, you see that's a piece of sauce there. So that's enough actually. Yeah, you can see that. Nicely wilted, the spinach. So that's gonna kind of create the base for the prawns. So you basically like cook two dishes in, in at once. So you have the vegetables, uh, well, which is spinach, together with onion. So now I'm gonna, so don't worry about rinsing this uh, frying pan, put it back on the full, uh, full heat. So that's what it looks like now, see that? Okay. And then now I'm gonna cook the prawns. Just uh, cook it up. What, are, what other vegetables can you use if you don't have spinach? What do you, think? you can use with the savo cabbage. You can do that kale. You can do that as well. Because kale? It's, yeah, the seasoning is very simple, just like a soy sauce. Or if you have oyster sauce, you can do that as well. Okay. So about two tablespoons of cooking oil. Here I have this chili oil, which I love so much. Okay. So I always have this logo because it's not really, really spicy, like a chili paste and all that. So it's nice to have it actually. So this is what I'm gonna put for a use as a seasoning and together with the soy sauce as well. Yeah. So it looks like the frying pan is ready. Hot. So garlic in the garlic. Well, some of the chili is already dropping. So again, on the full heat, get your garlic to be nice, kind of a golden brown and fragrant. Okay. So prawns can go in after. This is what I miss, like having a proper wok with a plain, yeah? Yeah. So I'm going to season with uh, soy sauce. I'm going to put the uh, so soy sauce about two tablespoons. And also the chili. I like this. I'm going to put like about two tablespoons. Okay. So this is why you can you can toast the prawn. See, because like uh, because I lift it up from this uh, electric cooker, of course it's gonna take away the heat. That's why, like, if you have a proper like a wok, uh, well, fire cooker, and then it's gonna cook really nicely. Try to tidy up at the same time. Because <laughs> uh, with the prawns, it's going to take only like uh, two minutes or so to cook, yeah? Almost there. Let's see whether I can do the close up of this one.
you know, feel confident about toasting it like that. So don't do it because I already make a splash on my kitchen floor. I'm sure it smells amazing in your kitchen now. It does. Normally I have Rufus the cat come and visit me every morning and lunchtime to get my affection, but he's not here yeah. yet. Oh, make another mess. Here. Come on. Uh, let's just, uh, just use this to flip. So the beauty about like when you debane it and you can see that it's kind of a uh, cut through the back of the prawn. So when it's curl up, and of course the flavor is gonna go in right into the prawn. Yeah, you can see that. See that? See that? It's open up nicely. Now this here, uh, so <laughs> this prawn here, half a kilo is only for four pound fifty. Okay. That is really cheap, actually, compared to when I was in Netherlands. I think it's uh, for a kilo, it's about 17 euros or so. And then, uh, yeah, so I think for uh, for two people, it's enough to have about 400, 400 grams. But I think this is enough for like uh, three people at least, yeah. Almost that, so it's all nicely curled up now. I just want to make sure that the kind of the head kind of was cooked nicely. Wow. Right, let me just get a song. Yeah, another. Right, I'm gonna turn off the heat now. So should cook. So I want everyone to see the close-up when I serve this. See if I say yeah. Okay. Is it uh, okay on the Instagram, Nick? Yeah, it looks really good. Okay, good. This is how you serve on the camera. <laughs> Always have to face, make everyone hungry at home, hungry. I can arrange it later anyway. Lots of prawns here. So with the chili paste, you can make it like, if you like it spicy, you can always just uh, nice. have a chili paste, yeah? It's shiny. <laughs> so let me just, um, wow, this is enough for like a four people actually, for half a kilo. It's got a really nice color to it as well. This is another bowl that I got from Denby. I'm going to take some out actually, because I want them um, to show a bit of a green because I want to take photo. So just, wow. Okay. And then, we're going to wipe it. See, we're doing great with time. So we still got about five minutes left. And then I'm going to garnish with Let's put this. What do you have there? Is that cucumber? No, this is the Julian uh, spring oh, onion. Spring onion, yeah. of course. Yes. It's kind of my trademark. If you have a bit of time, you can do this anyway. So it's been oh. take about five minutes. And then chili on top. Here we go. Beautiful. So that's my prawn dish. Just make everyone on the Instagram to salivate. Here you go. While you were speaking, I was also, that's so beautiful. Well done. Yep. Good. Okay. So let me just uh, put this. Right. Let me just uh, flip the camera so you can see me again. And there you go. That's my prawn dish. Let me just put the camera back here. And then we're going to. Properly say goodbye to everyone. I hope everyone's still watching from uh, Matt from Sydney. And, uh, have you tried? Well, you, you've eaten your dish, right? I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna keep this one to take a photo, okay? And then I'm gonna eat this one. 
<laughs> I can't wait. This is nice and so juicy. I've kept uh, fondue hot as well. Let's we'll see. Yeah, you, get, you, you eat your, your chicken then, and I'm going to eat my prawn. Mm, nice. That's why I didn't put any salt because, again, in that chili, chili paste, there's already like um, salt in there. And again, the saltiness from the, from the soy sauce. Mm. Looks yummy. Mm. Shame Sandy is not here, so she's celebrating, watching from the back, backstage. Because otherwise, I always get her to drive over to my place. Fifteen minutes drive, she can have. Sorry, Sandy, you have to fly to London for this. So, <laughs> uh, I think I've lost you on the Instagram now. Hang on, let me just quickly invite you so you can uh, have a. Proper say goodbye to everyone on the Instagram. I thought it'd be rude to just live like that. Okay, so I'm gonna invite Nick again, and then we're gonna say proper goodbye because I have to get ready because uh, tomorrow I'm going to Cheltenham. To um, yeah, because uh, if anyone wants to learn how to make roti canai, there's one place left at uh, Cheltenham. Uh, the food works. Go Chris. Go Chris. So Melissa said you guys make me hungry. <laughs> can, you, can you hear me on Instagram? I can hear you loud and clear. Okay. I'm gonna dig in as well. Yeah, don't yeah. worry. So you eat your chicken and I'm gonna eat my prawn. Because we've got about three minutes left. Anyway, so let's see some of the comments. Hello Nazrin. So Nazrin's watching from Cape Town, uh, from uh, South Africa. Elaine! There you go, Elaine, Elaine's here. Elaine, come and join us. Eating this chicken and the prawns. So, so there you go. Nicely so cooked. Wow. I'm just gonna make them all now. With my prawns. Put some. Uh, I'm gonna use my hands as well because I'm Malaysian. Chicken, chicken, roti, and I'm not gonna go broke. So nice prawns. Nice prawns. Mmm. So you Depending on the size of 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 the size and then so you will see yeah, this uh, going so live right away after we finish right away after we finish uh this finish uh and then uh, 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 next week we'll announce what we'll be cooking with because we've got a specific cooking with me so we can't make it so, uh, so uh, we're gonna have to find a replacement okay so uh yeah yeah so yeah, and then of course i have a couple of times i'm gonna be sending me uh the following week okay yeah so i'm not mistaken and Nick, is there anything that you want to tell the viewers before we go? Uh, we're open for business. When you can travel, think of us. We are nearest airport is Geneva, and uh, we're in the mountains. Next time we'll cook, I'll show you the mountains and we try to cook one outdoor. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Hopefully, right. we're going to bring our next bag to the library. August, August, we're going to bring our next bag to the library. Yeah, but next week, next month, we're going to have a month more and we're going to come back to cook with us. And of course, on the 1st of July, do watch out because we're going to be launching this exciting project for Norman and Friends. Okay, so. Yeah, so thanks for being with us. Thanks for being with us. Watching us cooking. Now you're watching me. Okay, so Melissa says she wants to go visit your mom. Anytime. Thanks for having me, Chef. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Bye, everyone. Bye.